Okay, so we're going to be installing PWA Kit. As you can see here, this is available on our GitHub repo. It's publicly available. By literally typing this line, you can download and install PWA Kit. So let's do that here. We are entering the line. We are answering a few questions. Uh, and even if you don't have a sandbox, this can be connected to a demo instance, no problem. These are values from your sandbox, the URL, client ID, these are all, uh, you can get these from your sandbox or our documentation online. This is the site, we're going to connect to RefArch. And this is my org ID, my shortcode. Now with that, with all that, I can fire this thing up and run it. So it's going to continue installing. Let's let this go maybe a few 30 seconds or so. And done. Okay, let's fire it up. Let's go into the directory, npm start, and now it is running locally. It's running on my laptop. Okay, we're gonna make a change and then we're gonna push it up to the manage runtime. So let's verify it's running. I should be able to see that here. Okay, there it is, great. And there is my storefront. I've got my category navigation, the search, everything is connected to my sandbox. See the PLPs, the PDP, you know, everything I have set up is, uh, is reflected here. I could add this to the cart, check out. We're gonna add a little bit of code here. We're gonna add something silly. We're gonna add a confetti bomb that goes off when you add something to the cart. So let's switch to you know, this is React, so there are thousands of available libraries. Let's, let's look for React Confetti Explosion, sure, right there, React DOM Confetti, that's what we're going to install. So that looks good. Let's take that, let's take that code, since, you know, PWA is just a React app, we're going to put that code inside, we're going to add it to the package.json, and we're going to add that library right here, as you see. We are going to go to the PDP code and put the necessary code to enable this thing. I'm going to import it. There's some other. I'm going to add a state variable. Just literally, you know, no more than four or five lines of code here. And there it is. So I've got that. It's going to show that. So let's try it again. Now this should automatically refresh. I don't need to. I don't need to uh, stop and start. Let's add to cart. Hey, there it is, great. So there's our confetti bomb. So we made that change locally. Now as a developer, we're gonna push this up to the manage runtime. So we're gonna stop the running app right there. And with this one line, we are gonna push it into the manage runtime under the project there listed Tgron and the environment ZZSB080. And I'm gonna add a comment here. Just this one line of code. We'll push this change into the manage runtime, into that project, into that environment. So it's gonna compile it. Webpack is gonna compile this right now. And if it's successful, if it's good, it's gonna take that bundle and push it up. And it just did that. By the way, this can all be done via APIs, via command line tools in the back end. I'm just doing this manual here for illustration purposes. Let's log into the manage runtime. This is literally a very simple interface. I mean, anyone can be a master of this administrator in, in 10 minutes time. And you see my project, Tgron, there's my ZZSB. We see this is being deployed right now, right? You see that up top. Uh, so this is already running my last uh, bundle, which is a uh, demo for today. And then the current one is the one I literally just added from the command line deploying bundle. It's very easy to roll back if I need to, if there was something wrong in this build, I could simply deploy an older older bundle down below. You can see any of those options right there. So this is done already. That quick, I can deploy any of these older ones if I need to, but let's go look at view my changes now on this this URL. Now this is a, a uh, kind of a production environment here running on the manager on time. Let's go to this PDP. And let's select, yeah, that color, and yay, there's my change right there. So this was uh, how to change and uh, make a change, install, and upload to the manage runtime.